Well, apparently, old Johnny Gobbs, you know what I mean, the uh, goofy ass, gobbly gooker looking ass, has something to say to both Ryan and Justin. So, uh, as much as this goes against, you know, what I usually do here on this channel, I'm gonna give my man a fair chance here. I'm gonna let him tell his side, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, intro! So I got to get my hustle on. Yo, what is good guys? Your boy Jason JV here. And yeah, you heard me right. I'm gonna give this man a fair chance to get his side out. You know what I mean? I'm gonna hear what he has to say. Although I have a funny feeling this might put me to sleep. But in any event, apparently my man uh, Gobbly Gooker has uh, something to say to old Ryan Upchurch and Justin. And he put a little 100 emoji. Like that's supposed to mean something. But anyway, without further ado, let's hear what this uh, what this uh, clout chaser has to say. Like the hey hey. Not really. But hey hey. Go. This is my response. Right here. To Justin. Don't sit there and lie to yourself. I don't know who has got a hold of you and, and told you to, to lie about this. But let me tell you something. I love you, brother. Oh, I was just about to say, it sounds like uh, old Justin is burning the bridges on both ends. You know what I'm saying, bro? These people out here might make might be uh, making us think that, that, that we're crazy, bro, but we're not. I about fell into, the, into that evil, bro. Almost did. No, instead you decided to fall into a different kind of evil, but go on. Almost did. But what I'm going to say to you is, don't sit here and threaten me. That's the worst thing you can do. I sat here and listened to you talk to me. You pouring your heart out about something, about, about something. I'm pretty sure you were sitting in your house, but in, in any event, I mean, to be fair, it is dark, so who knows if he's still sitting in his house or... Sounds like he's sitting in, in his car, but anyway. Bro, do you not understand that we've been talking for a long time? I don't see you just coming out with a story like you told. I told you, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Until Ryan up, church... Gives me an a a pub uh, an a until Ryan Up Church gives me a public apology. A public apology for what? Hmm. You're the one who decided to become a public figure by posting public videos on a public platform. You put yourself in this hot seat. Church didn't do that to you. So therefore, church does not owe you a damn thing. You are out of your ever-loving mind. Whether you want to admit that to yourself or not. You are not entitled to any apologies from anybody. If anyone should be apologizing around here, it is your dumb ass. Because you y'all just don't understand, man. Here I I went to my hometown Dairy Queen, and I was getting made fun of at my hometown Dairy Queen. To which I do not feel sorry for you about. I'm sorry you don't have my pity there because again, you put yourself in that spot. Nobody told you to turn on the your camera phone and make these videos. You did that on your own, and therefore you deserve whatever consequence that comes your way for your actions. It's nobody else's fault but yours. You're a grown-ass man, dude. You know what I mean? Start doing some grown-ass man shit. Stop crying like a little bitch. Ryan Upchurch has got people really thinking that I'm crazy and I'm all messed up and that I'm... Well, you're not doing anything to prove otherwise. 
I, and that my kids should be taken out of the home. I'm hearing that, that uh, CPS is on their way to my house. Uh, and again, show receipts. You know what I mean? Yeah, here, so I've been put through all this. So you're saying that you lied to me. Uh, all, all, all I'm hearing is a bunch of... <laughs> That's all I'm hearing right now, man. Put me through all this with Ryan Upchurch. You know my story. You know what I went through. You knew. You know that I was in foster care. You know when I was a kid. You know that my sister was molested by my father. You know everything in my life, son. Why in the world would you sit there and let me open up to you? Here you are now putting all that business out there, dude. See, look. Here you are continuing to being a dumbass. Putting all this shit out there. You put your sister's business out there. Now, granted, to be fair, yes, I put some of my family's business out there, but I didn't give names. And I only said very little. You know what I mean? And so you don't know which relative I'm talking about. Bruh. And you sit here and tell me that you're lying to me. I don't believe that. Until Ryan Upchurch apologizes to me publicly because I was getting threats over this. Threats. Receipts. Show receipts. I really, I, I see... Like, there, there's reaction channels like like Dog Pound reaching out and asking me if Johnny Cashfield's involved. Hell no, Johnny Cashfield ain't involved. He ain't never been involved in this situation. Like, what? Think about it is, is I, man, I, I, I know a lot more about the music industry than what a lot of you do. Then, yeah, sure. Creek Squad knows about. Here, Creek. You all, daggone message me. Look at, read, go through my messages on my YouTube and just read the messages in the comments. If you know so much about the music business, then how come you're not part of the business? Hmm? Hmm? Instead of on here, crying your ass off, again, on a public platform to which we're all welcome to watch and react to, because again, public platform, why aren't you doing something in the industry that can help make you rich. Listen to the threats. I'm not scared of either one of you. I'm if that's true, then why are you crying? I'm not scared of Deerdorf. And now you're wanting to threaten me with charges because I posted, oh Lord. Yeah, you should be charged because you do realize all the things that you said about church, all the things you said about Creek Squad, you do realize that is slander. And that is defamation of character to which you can be sued for. And yeah, I see you crying. I see your eyes all bloodshot and everything. You crying and everything. But again, I, none of us feel sorry for you because you're a grown ass man acting an ass on camera. And you think this video is going to change everything for you? I guarantee you it's not. If anything, you're just making shit worse on yourself. Man, son, y'all don't scare me. I got a higher power that's stronger than anything in this world. Same higher power that, you know, the rest of us be believing in? Oh, yeah. That higher power? Of course, he sees everything that goes on. So, you can try to fool yourself, but the one being you'll never fool is the higher power. The Bible says fear nothing. That's me. True, it does say, fear, well, the, the Bible says fear no man. Get it right, pal. You've caused me all kinds of trouble, Ryan. Church didn't do anything to you. You did it to yourself. All kinds of trouble. Have that self-accountability, okay? You're a grown man, okay? You're responsible for your actions, your words. Just like I'm responsible for mine, just like church is responsible for his. Me and my wife has argued. Yeah, she's probably trying to tell you, dude, stop making these videos. Stop, stop making an ass out of yourself. Not only are you embarrassing yourself, but you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing the uh, kids. Stop. She's probably trying to tell you to stop. 
Between the two of you, she's probably the most sane person in that household. People has laughed at my kids when we're out in town. Over to which Church has addressed, and he told everybody that knows your kids to leave them alone, to be nice to them, because it is not their fault that their father is a dumbass. You want to make your funny videos. You think it's fun this stuff's funny. I guess you think it's funny that somebody went through a struggle in their life. I don't think it's a bit funny. You don't know why I went. I was on drugs for 15 years of my life. And that was a choice you made. That was your decision to take those drugs. Nobody held a gun to your head. Nobody forced you to take those drugs. You decided to take those drugs. You didn't need those drugs. Like Church has told Justin, it's all in your head. I went through more in my life than you could ever dream up going, ever dream going through. Bruh, I've been through some shit too, but do you see me on here crying? No, I'm working. And you want to make me look like I'm batshit crazy? Again, you, you don't need help in that department. You're doing a fine job on your own, Chief. I ain't crazy. It obviously shows because of this video right here that Adam, uh, I, that Justin posted. Someone got a hold of him. Is what happened. No, I would disagree. It sounds like Justin realized, even though it's already too late, I mean, at, I'll give Justin this much. At least he's realized what he did was wrong and he made an effort to try to make things right. At least he tried, unlike your dumbass. But let me tell you something right now, I'm not dropping my guard on none of y'all. I can see how y'all are in your cult. There's a reason why. See, look, here you go, man. Here you go. Contradicting yourself, right? I believe in a higher power. Higher power and his one and only begotten son, Jesus Christ. They've all said, do not judge others. If you pass judgment on others, the judgment will be passed upon you. Why you're going through this. I don't know why it is. But obviously there's some truth in the situation or you wouldn't have been calling me, Ryan. All right, y'all. So, okay. Let me, I'm sorry, y'all. I had a... I was responding to a, to a text. So, yeah. Let me wind this back. Someone got a hold of him. Is what happened. But let me tell you something right now. I'm not dropping my guard on none of y'all. I can see how y'all are in your cult. Like I said, man, here you go. You passing judgment on people again, on people you don't even know. You know what I mean? And you're and you're supposed to be. And we're supposed to, I'm supposed to take you seriously as as, as a God fearing man, as a God loving, God respecting man. Now this time I am questioning your faith, even though. Really, I shouldn't be because it's not really my place. But look how look how you're behaving. Listen to what you're saying. Look how you are behaving. Look at what you're doing. Stop. Think for a second. Better yet, think for a minute. You're obviously not learning because you keep making the same mistake over and over and over and over again. You need to stop. There's a reason why you're going through this. I don't know why it is. But I oh, you do know why. See, here you go. You're, you you just you're, you just openly admitted that you're not taking responsibility for what you're doing. Obviously, there's some truth in the situation, or you wouldn't have been calling me, Ryan. And that's what I got to say about this situation. So you're sitting here t acting like I'm putting this family through something. Everybody's acting like I've put this family through something. You are! No, my family's the one going through it. By you. Because of you! You all, Creek Squad. By these reaction channels. Daniel Bishop. Kansas Rebel Man Reacts. Kansas Rebel Man, man. 
used to be one of my buddies, son. Turned you back on me because you got to go on stage in Corbin, didn't you? See him by TV? You don't even know me, dude. You don't know nothing about me. You don't know about me looking at 20 years of prison over the mayor and corrupt police officers in my hometown? The worst thing Ryan could have done was post that video thinking that he was going to hurt me in that video. He didn't do nothing but help me. And I've said this since day one. Guys, I deleted the video until I started uh, until I started receiving threats. Again, show sure receipts. Ryan up church until I get an apology. To which you are not entitled to. I'm not taking shit down. If you want a box, I can ask you that, Kane. Can, can I ask you to box? Oh, here we go. Now he's coming to church out to a fight. Or are you gonna be scared about that too? Tell you what. Church is, is not going to waste his time on a low life like you. I'm just saying. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> now, l l let's say, hypothetically speaking, Church agrees to box you, right? And then he whips your ass. Um, will you still be mad enough to uh, stand up and shake the man's hand once it's all said and done? Or is this shit still going to go? Are you still going to continue on with this? Hmm? Hmm? Or let's say by some crazy twist of fate, you managed to beat church. Will you then stop with this nonsense that you're on? Hmm? I don't even know if I should say this or not. I, I, you might get scared and say that I'm I'm trying to kill you or something. You know what I mean? I'm trying to go I'm trying to go down here and break this man's neck. I mean, y'all are crazy, man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Takes one to know one. I'm just saying. If you want a box, man, we'll box it out. If I win, I get the Lamborghini, like I've said. There we go. There we go. He wants what church has. That's what this is all about. He want he wants church's Lamborghini. He wants church's money. There we go. Clout chasing. If you win, I'll delete all the videos. Every one of them. Just because of the fact, Ryan, what you've done to me. You've made my whole hometown. I wonder who else he has on that on that reactors list of his, you know what I mean? I noticed how he only named a few of them and Probably because they're they're the they're, they're the uh, bigger reaction channels. You know what I mean? Bruh. My whole hometown. Now I got some support in my hometown, but there's them the select few that I've always had haters. Yeah, I've always had them haters, son. Ever since I changed my life four years ago and got off dope. You don't know that though. You don't even know me. Just like you don't know church. You don't know the Creek Squad. You know what I'm saying? That that works both ways in this case, my guy. You don't even know me. Chop this video up right here. Roast me all you want to. I've told you, you're not hurting my feelings. If that were true, then why are there tears coming out of your eyes? Why are your eyes so bloodshot? I'm a content creator too, just like you. Exactly. Which means you have every right to put whatever kind of content you want to put out there. And just like the rest of us have the right to put whatever kind of content we want to put out. I can edit a video. It's all it takes. It's a couple flicks of a finger. And people act like you got to be on dope to do something like that. I don't post a video but, a, but like six hours to ten hours apart. That's a content creator. I had followers on my TikTok man before this this stuff even happened if that's true then why not go make some tiktok videos then you know what i mean to keep your to keep your audience and then i end up getting caught into a podcast in my hometown y'all probably seen it <laughs> y'all probably seen it I was under the assumption that I was going down to have the podcast to talk about my corrupt the corruption in our hometown. 
When I get down there, it's a bunch of clout chasers wanting to video me to tell my story because they wanted to hear about Ryan Up Church. Hmm, how ironic. Yeah, they probably want to know the truth, if there is any truth to what you're saying. And then you want to call people out for clout chasing. I mean, here you are making another video to church doing what? Clout chasing. That's all my town was worried about. Wasn't worried about daggone that the corruption was going on in my hometown and that daggone Ryan Up Church just now exposed it and he knows he screwed plumber. Screw plumber doing that. He knows he did. He knows he did. I've never known of him going a whole day without roasting somebody as mad as he is as mad as he is at me. <laughs> For real. You apologize to me, Ryan Up Church. <laughs> apologize for what? I'd still like to box you, though. Yeah, I bet you would. And, buddy, I, I ain't gonna hurt you. I love you, bub. Ryan, I love you, bub. If that were true, you would not be making these videos. You would just leave the man alone. I love you, Justin. I love all this genre, man. Y'all built a daggone genre that's unstoppable. And Justin was involved in that, man. That's what I'm... Key word there was. Was. And he still could be. He still could be. It's not too late. I'm getting out in this situation. Not just that. You know, me me letting a couple of... You know, I could have chopped the video up and, and, and cut some things out, but I wanted the whole world to hear this hear the story I want him to feel like like I did and, and be heartbroken over a situation that says somebody was telling you a story about and you think that you're been your friends with that person and that they're telling you to that they're telling you the truth I know there's truth in the story he was there was no there there's truth to the story And y'all not gonna threaten me. Do you understand in the state of Kentucky that there is a one person consent, a consent law that I can record a conversation as long as there's one person consent? No. If you're gonna record a video or audio with somebody else, it's not just your consent, it's their consent too. You have to get their consent. And if they don't wanna be recorded, that's their right. Man, I know my laws. I've been to prison. Yeah, I'm not proud of going. Which means he's probably been watching my reaction videos too because I'm, I haven't watched everyone else's reactions so I can't speak for them. I'll just say on, in my reactions, I've, I've addressed the laws, you know what I'm saying? And when it comes to recording other people. Going to prison? I'm not proud of a lot of things I've done in my life. I, I, I hope that this is one of those situations that you're definitely not proud of. You know, at one time I wanted to be part of Redneck Nation, I, like I've said along, I've said this all along. Yeah, and because you're not a part of Redneck Nation, you were so prepared because supposedly you have proof, you have evidence, you have stories that you have yet to show receipts for um, that can destroy Redneck Nation. But until a few things happened, mm -hmm. see here we go, and, and me sitting back and watching it, me watching it go on, like. Ryan has really done so many people like this. Like, there's a person that told me that is real close to Ryan that said, man, a, a person went through what Ryan is trying to put. If this is true, show the receipts. Show the proof. Show the evidence. Church has given many people opportunities. He's done a lot for so many people. And some, and some of these people that he's helped have betrayed him. Look at the, weas the, the weasel gang leader. Need I say more? What you threw right now, and they, they, they went through a, oh my God, I guess they about lost their mind. I guess I got a stronger mind than a lot of people, and these people act like that I. That is not true. If you had a stronger mindset, bub, then you would, um, be doing better things with your time you would have bigger and better fish to fry you know what i'm saying and you would make 
better quality content for your channel, you know what I'm saying, that has nothing to do with church, you know what I mean? You would just be doing your own thing if you have a stronger mindset, which obviously you're proving right now you don't. I can see how bloodshot your eyes are. I see the tears come out of your eyes. You are not that strong will. You are not that strong minded. You have proven, you have shown that you are anything but a good man, as you said. You want to prove you're a good man. You want to prove that you're strong minded, that you're strong will. Cut the crap. Cut the shit. Let this go. I'm so messed up that I got some psychosis going on from the methamphetamine from four years ago. Like, what? <laughs> you openly admitted that you did crack. Now, you, now you're openly admitting that, it, that you also did meth too? Shit. Y'all don't know my story. And every- You just told us! You just told us your story! <laughs> so now we know! Everyone on this freaking list right here, Daniel Bishop, Kansas Rebel Man, Reacts, Simba TV, Tay Vids, Fishing with uh, Mike, Hillbilly Heart, Blast Cat Badger. All these guys owe me an apology. Uh, no they don't. All of them. No, they don't. Kansas Rebel Man, man. You're damn right. Hey, shout out to Kansas Rebel Man. I, I've been watching him too lately. You know what I'm saying? I love his reactions, man. That, that dude's funny as hell. You know who else I've been watching too? Um, I think his name is EJ Bingus. I've been watching him too. Anyway. Man, I watched you for a long time, man. We've talked on the phone together. Um, what's that other guy's name? Monkey, um, anyway, there's a lot of people I've talked to, I talk to, man, on social media. I don't understand why people confide in me. I don't understand that. I'm trying to be a light to others. I tried to expose a situation in my hometown with the city police. Been going on for... Sure you have. I mean, look, if you truly cared about your hometown, right, and the corruption that's going on in your hometown that you like to keep, you know, addressing, then maybe, just maybe, you should be solely focused on that more than attacking church and attacking Creek Squad. Apparently, your priorities aren't all there. Apparently, this corruption that's going on in your in your town, it is not your priority because you you put just you put more time from what I'm seeing from your channel you've been putting in more time you know what I mean talking about church and creek squad than trying to do something about this corruption that's going on in your hometown that's what your actions from from our perspective well from my perspective at least again I can't speak for for everybody but from my perspective at least I've seen you put way more energy into trying to hurt up church and speaking all this slander, all this defamation talk on church and Creek Squad, rather than focusing on the issues that your hometown is supposedly facing. Actions speak louder than words. Four years, 2015, I got pulled over by this same cop, got charged with a DUI. Probably because you were under the influence of something. I mean, you did admit to doing crack and you admit to doing meth. So who knows? I wasn't there. I can't say. Maybe you, you were under the influence of something. Maybe you were not. I don't know. I wasn't there. But if a cop pulled you over, there's probably a reason for that. Done six months in jail. Eight months later, my blood work comes back and it's clean. That's when all this started with the, with the corruption in my hometown. And then four years ago... I went, I watched a buddy of mine get, get the far beat plumb out of him, man. I, I, I thought it was two years ago. Now it's four years ago? Hmm, interesting. And got... Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. 
So you watched your buddy get, get his ass whipped instead of two years ago, now four years ago. It took you four years to finally get off your ass and do something about it? Again, with friends like you, who needs enemies? Charged with assault on a police officer and he had his hands behind his back, cuffed. My kid watched it. Your kid watched it and it still took you four years to do something about it. Y'all wanna talk? I mean, eh, eh. <laughs> And then Ryan posts this video of me talking to the mayor. What you don't understand is, is that I talked to the mayor on the phone. There's two conversations. You didn't get all the conversations, Ryan. You was just trying to make me look bad. No, dude, you, you made yourself look bad when you were trying to talk to the mayor about you know, recording your conversation with him to which he was not comfortable with, he was not okay with, and refuses to give you consent, to which that is his right to do. You recorded that and posted that. You did that. All church did was what the rest of us did. We watched, we reacted, and we gave our views on it. You was trying to make me look bad. Just, to, just, just, I want that apology. And you're not getting it because you don't deserve it. Tell the truth, Ryan, just as well as we have told the truth in this situation. Dude, practice what you preach. Why don't you start telling the truth? You've tried to make me out to be the worst person in the world, son. You did it to yourself. And you don't even know me. Well, first impression is everything and you did not give off the best first impression yeah y'all i'm sorry but well sorry not sorry but again i do not feel for old johnny gobble you know what i'm saying and uh he tries to hit me up and try to get an apology from me you know what i'm gonna tell this dude Denied. yep pretty much <laughs> so yeah um i'm gonna be fair though you know i always leave links to videos so if you guys want to watch and listen to this uninterrupted on your own free time you know what i'm saying totally up to you don't don't feel obligated if you don't want to do so it's totally optional uh if you're, i mean yeah the link will be available if you guys are with this reaction you know to do that thumbs up down below you know to do that comment section down below let me know where you guys stand on all this. You know what I mean? Is, is dude entitled to, to an apology or not? I don't think he is, but I'm interested in hearing, your, you know, seeing your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Let's have a nice civilized conversation. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's okay to agree. It's okay to disagree. You know what I'm saying? We're all entitled to our views, our opinions. You know what I'm saying? We're all entitled to our 1A right at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to agree, but uh, let's at least be, you know, respectful. You know what I mean? For, towards each other. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think this dude is full of it. You know what I mean? Obviously, he is. He, he, he doesn't get it. He he doesn't get it. He doesn't want to get it. I don't think he ever will get it. And I think after this, you know what I mean? <sighs> Bruh. I don't know. I don't know. Unless Church puts out more videos and says anything, I, I'm, I'm going to hold off. This will be the last video on the situation i want to go back to reacting to music and stuff but uh of course you know like i said whatever church puts out obviously i'm gonna react to that because i'm a big time church supporter i'm a creek squad through and through you know what i'm saying and a uh, church is always welcome here on my channel you know what i'm saying so yeah all right y'all pretty much all i have to say about this situation um don't forget underneath the uh, original video link i have the link for the second channel and uh underneath that got you know a reaction request um apparently um someone thinks i'm pro censorship i'm pro cancellations and whatnot yeah well to that i say if that were true if you truly believe that more than welcome to leave my, my channel you know what i'm saying you know where the door is you know what i mean um if that were true i wouldn't have a uh, reaction request instructions so if you want to see me react to more of a certain artist that you're a fan of hey feel free to hit me up feel free to hit me with a request and it doesn't have to be a priority request it could be a free request and i will still honor it you know what i'm saying if i put out a poll asking hey do you want me to react to this person or not 
vote in favor and I will honor it. If if your vote is the winning vote and people want to see me react to certain people, I will honor that. That's how I do things here. You, my audience, <clears throat> I pretty much uh, let it be known without having to tell you straight up. You guys have a voice here on my channel. You know what I mean? When I ask for it. You know what I mean? And again, if you have a request, hit me up. You don't have to pay for it. You can do a free request. I will still honor it. Anyway, I need. I felt like I needed to say that because someone uh, left a, a comment on my Tom McDonald post in the community post. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to get that out of the way. I was going to make a video on it, but I figured, nah, let me just get that out of the way. You know what I mean? Real quick and just be done with it. So yeah, washing my hands of that. And uh, yeah, don't forget two store links, uh, spring merch store, Kula Hawaii CBD, both of which will have their own discount slash coupon codes that you're more than welcome to use to help save you on your purchases. And uh, don't forget, if you can't support the channel financially, hey, all good, no worries, no hard feels. Trust me, I totally understand, given with today's, you know, issues that we're dealing with right now. So yeah, no hard feels. Uh, you're more than welcome to please make sure that you are uh, subscribed to this channel if you're feeling what I'm doing over here. And um, also make sure you got your bell notifications set to all so you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. Hey, especially if you're new here, of course. And of course, that goes for all the fan band that I rock with in the folks that I rock with section. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys are showing the family some love as well. We greatly appreciate it. Think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. All right. Peace.